So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, voltages again. So this one, we're interested in the A-stable mode 555 timer. And I have a couple LEDs, one from the positive supply, the other to the negative supply. So they light up when the output is uh, connected as close as it can be to the opposite supply of the LED that is lighting up. So the output is high, it's close to 5 volts when the red LED is lit up, and it's low, close to... Uh, zero volts, pretty much spot on zero volts when the green LED is lit up. Those are 220 ohm resistors protecting them. We are working with uh, six volts. And uh, I don't know why that's falling shy of uh, six volts. I think I lowered that too much. Yeah, I did. There you can see now it's raising. So there we go. So we got uh, six volts at the supply. I knew that for sure because that is what I had the supply. Also, I'm uh, raising the current. I forgot to do that last video. You can see we get up to about 20 milliamps of current. That's how I usually keep it to protect LEDs. But we might go a tad bit above that. So I got 40 there. And also you'll see that uh, we got higher current when the green LED is lit up than the red LED. So that's a fun thing to uh, investigate why to get a better feeling for what's going on in electronics. So now the oscilloscope, the uh, cables, they got uh, alligator clips on the end. I just clipped them to jumpers, put them on their own row, and then... Uh, plug those jumpers into the uh, rail in this case to look at the voltages. So we're going to look at the uh, first voltage, the voltage of the capacitor. And so far we have the uh, well-known voltages that you talk about. We have the uh, supply voltage, which in this case is 6 volts, just because it makes the math easy. Then within the 555 timer, as long as you don't adjust it with uh, pin 5, that's why you often see a little capacitor to the uh, power supply to help hold that voltage. But in uh, any case, as long as you don't adjust the voltage, it's uh, operating at uh, two-thirds and one-third supply voltage when you have an A-stable multivibrator. So there's a voltage divider in there, three equal value resistors that uh, give you two-thirds and one-third of the supply voltage. So now that we have uh, basically a review out of the way, because I really assume you already knew that. I hope you already know a stable multivibrator circuit before you watch this. But uh, I'm going to point out that these are 220 ohm resistors protecting the LEDs. And uh, the timing resistors, that's 1 kilo ohm and that's 1 kilo ohm. The uh, capacitor, so 1000 ohms each. The capacitor is a 1000 microfarad capacitor. And uh, so that's the uh, values. So now what we're going to do is look at the voltage across the resistor. So it has the capacitor charges through two resistors and then discharges through one. So it goes from pin six to pin seven through the resistor and then directly to ground. So there's going to be a higher voltage across this uh, resistor while it is discharging. That's one of the uh, takeaways. So Instead of looking at the voltage in relationship to ground, we're going to look at the voltage here across that resistor in relationship to uh, pin 6 and pin 7. So I'm moving this right above, and uh, there you can see I went to the power supply. There we go. So now they're next to each other, and the two uh, leads of the resistor are next to each other. And there you can see we have a positive voltage, this side more positive than that side, for a shorter period of time than when this is more negative, and that's more positive. But the main takeaway is that voltage is changing directions across it as current goes. And so, we are actually below zero right there. And uh, looks like I already clicked that, but uh, pressing this, I can either go to voltage or go to the arrow that slides the divisions this little knob turns it up, but as you can see, it goes slow. So there's no arrows there. If I press the little uh, dial there, now we see arrows up there and spinning it turns it faster right there. So there you can see that the uh, red jumper here is more positive than blue for a shorter period of time. And also there is more voltage difference. And that's because we got a voltage divider while it is charging. That's when this is more positive, the uh, blue one. And then uh, when it is discharging, the red one is more positive. But uh, we got a voltage divider coming that way, but not going that way. It goes directly to ground. So 
there's a bigger voltage difference while the capacitor is discharging. And uh, so it's a good idea to look at the voltages across all components. So this may seem uh, confusing, but as you study the circuitry more and uh, whatnot, it makes more sense. And uh, so uh, keep at it. The main uh, point of this video series is that knowing the voltages is important to understand what's going on in different uh, parts of the circuit. And uh, when you got more advanced circuits, that really helps a lot to have a better understanding of the voltages that are involved. So hopefully that all made sense. I already assume you know the A-stable multivibrator circuit, so I rushed through this. But I hope you still enjoyed. Check out one of the other videos. Click like, subscribe the bell. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put uh, links down in the description. That would help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.